Mendix 10.23 is now available and lets Maya modify your pages with simple prompts, lets you connect input widgets and snippets directly to page parameters without wrapping them in data views, and introduces the brand new Agent Kit. Let's dive in. Over 500 people have already registered for the Capture the Flag event since registrations opened last week. Capture the Flag is a two-day hybrid event that's focused on learning about security in Mendix, and it takes place on-site in Rotterdam, online, and at many satellite locations around the world, like Hollywood, Tokyo, Cape Town, and Sydney, just to name a few. This is shaping up to be the biggest Mendix event of the year, so go to mendix.com ctf to sign up right now. Let's go break it. Maya can now modify existing pages through simple natural language prompts. Maybe you need more descriptive labels for your input fields. Or how about updating a form after changing the entity or changing the color of a button for better visibility? You can simply tell Maya what you need and watch as it transforms your pages with just a sentence. This helps you make more routine page modifications simpler, and it eliminates some of the tediousness of manual updates, regardless of your technical expertise. Try it out now by asking Maya. You can now connect input widgets and snippets directly to page parameters without wrapping them in data views, so you can keep your model clean and maintainable. It's another step in making page building simpler and more intuitive so you can create more direct connections between data and UI components. Enjoy this little efficiency improvement. The new Document Viewer widget lets you preview PDFs, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, images, and text files directly within your Mendix applications. Simply place the widget in the context of a file entity, and your users can immediately access the document's content without requiring external applications or downloads. This is mainly designed for quick previewing with some formatting limitations due to HTML conversion and can improve your workflow efficiency by keeping users within your application's environment, which creates a more seamless experience for document-heavy processes. Introducing the Mendix Agents Kit. This kit combines the existing smart app components with the new AI agent builder capabilities, so you can create agentic AI applications with Mendix. The new Agent Commons module is an evolution of what was previously released as prompt management. You or your Gen AI engineers can rapidly iterate on prompts at runtime, link microflows as tools, and connect to knowledge bases to create AI agents in the Mendix app that can be transported across different environments. To help you get started, we've included five ready-to-use agent templates that you can drag and drop from the toolbox into your Microflow logic. This is perfect for translations, summaries, uh, and information extraction. And finally, check out what's possible with the new Agent Builder Starter app, which is built on top of the Agent Commons module to kickstart your development. I can't wait to see some cool examples of new AI agents. You can now use the new MCP server module to create your own model context protocol servers in a Mendix application. These let you expose any business logic to any agent in your landscape via MCP. To help you get started, we've made a significant update to the GenAI Showcase app by adding a guide for setting up and connecting to MCP servers. You will learn how to establish connections between your MCP servers and MCP hosts using the example of Claude Desktop. A key feature of this release is the detailed guidance on exposing and using tools from the Showcase application, or any other Mendix application, directly within an MCP host. The showcase is based on a practical example that features a database of historical ticket information. Through these exposed tools, this ticket information becomes readily accessible within the MCP host, which demonstrates a real-world application of the integration. This makes it easier for developers like yourself to leverage GenAI capabilities while maintaining full control over their implementation. Try it out now with the GenAI Showcase app and the new MCP server module, which you can find in the Marketplace. The Marketplace curation feature lets companies apply their own rules and guidelines to public content in the Marketplace. When a component meets those rules, it gets a special label, which until now was called recommended, 
Based on your feedback, we're changing this label to Company Approved. This new name makes it clear that the label is based on your company's standards and not a general suggestion from the Minix platform itself. This can help you quickly see which components are approved for use in your projects. In Studio Pro, you can filter by the Company Approved label to find the right components more easily. For more details on how to configure this, check out the Control Center and Public Marketplace documentation. We've come to the end of new Mendix 10 releases and are looking forward to introducing Mendix 11 to you in June. Together with Mendix 11, we're releasing Studio Pro 10.24, which will be the long-term release until the last version of Mendix 11 is released. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.23 at marketplace.menix.com to use all these new features right now. If you find this video useful, we would appreciate a like and perhaps a subscribe so you'll get to see more updates like this. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.